Well, I'm an artifact to Mars. How do you like this one? You want say today you want us to eliminate cheerleading. Because they're saying that it's sexist and demeaning towards women and all this. Uh, excuse me? They're talking specifically about NFL, but you know what happens to... Uh, you know what happens to shit, it starts at the top and goes down to the splat at the bottom. They want to eliminate uh, cheerleaders from NFL teams. Which aren't really pretty highly paid, I would think. Uh, they'll do it all the way. Houston Texans aren't even bothering with pretense. On their website, it's full of gallery of the finalists from last weekend's cheerleader tryouts, and visitors are encouraged to vote for their favorites. Are these action shots of the women that highlight their athletic ability or dance skills? Or do they include a list of their qualifications? Uh, they're there to cheer on their team and uh, entertain the mostly male audience. That's what they're there for, idiots. Of course not. They're headshots. Sorry, head and chest shots. Close up shots at that. The better to ogle, you know. So, what they want to do is stop men from looking at women altogether. I, there are censors on, on YouTube, and I don't mean they're uh, paid ones. I mean YouTube users who think that men should be limited to watching homosexual videos and male sports. Believe it or not, I know a few, a few of them. I'm not talking about the people who work at YouTube. Cheerleaders from two NFL teams have filed gender discrimination complaints in the past month, detailing demeaning ways in which they are treated. Restrictions on what they can and can't post on social media. Well, they're all doing that, these companies. Rules that prohibit contact with players and put the onus on the women to avoid it. Dress codes. Is it any wonder the underlying premise of NFL's cheerleaders is degrading? Is any woman is nothing more than objects to be leered at? The skimpy, suggestive outfits and the uniform's only purpose is to titillate. Unbelievable. I want to see who the wacko is who, uh, Nancy Armour. So, she's going to be a, uh, wacko left, left wing radical feminist. Probably uglier than, probably uglier than a barnyard animal. What has been an appalling message to send in this pound me to where there's no longer any place for NFL? For NFL cheerleaders need to go. NBA dance squads and NHL ice girls while we're at it too. Like I said, she doesn't like being shown up by a bunch of young, vivacious, bubbly uh, girls. This is not a criticism of cheerleading overall. That is a lie. In some forms, it's very much an athletic endeavor, a hybrid of acrobatics and gymnastics. Uh, that's not its purpose. Its purpose is to lead the cheers and uh, entertain the mostly male audience. That's just the way it is. The International Olympic Committee has even recognized cheerleading as a sport and could someday make an appearance in the games. Proponents will say that most women are, who are NFL cheerleaders or professionally trained dancers just want the opportunity to do what they love. That they play an important role in maintaining the team's positive image with promotional appearances and community service, all of which is true. As always, 
out in the community, so like Kristen Ann Ware, former Miami Dolphins cheerleaders, filed a complaint with Florida Commission on Human Relations, alleging that she was discriminated against her talking about her faith and bullied about after saying she was a vir- virgin. If you take away the cheerleaders, you take away the glue, you take away the puzzle piece that brings football to life. That is a real reason. 26 and 32 NFL teams have cheerleaders, and everybody knows it. They're there to be eye candy. Blow up dolls come to life. Now that is just rude and insulting towards cheerleaders. You call them blow up dolls? This idiot wrote this is sick. What else will Dallas cheerleaders, Dallas Cowboys mandate that? Women wear sports bras and hot pants for tryouts. No tank tops or bike shorts and include personal appearance and figure on as criteria and which, which they are judged. Well they don't want a bunch of they don't want a bunch of fat women with hairs growing out of their nose. Of course not. This is just this is just another twisted diseased feminist. They say she's probably uglier than Sin. She's jealous of these cheerleaders. See if I can get a picture of her. Anyway, here's her picture. Not too ugly, but, uh... She's ugly inside. She wants to do away with American traditions. They want, she wants to control everything. She's a control freak. And of course, she's a man hater. That's obvious. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Test of the Bimbo World.